Oof. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, the ring is mine. Oh, got him. Man, that Grimma. Gr Gr Grimma probably. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, aka That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. What do we got tonight, guys? Well, we're going back to Mono Black here. Uh, I don't know if we've done a Mono Black in a while, but it's time for the Dark Army. The Black Gates are going to open, and we are going to march forth in an absolute horde and a tide of darkness and ruin and death. And that's what we like. Very, very good. Right now, sitting at a 69% win rate. Nice. Uh, is Dark Army. This is, of course, a Lord of the Rings new stuff. It's almost entirely new stuff. Um, but honestly, a little easy on the wallet. Not too expensive. Uh, a lot of uncommons, a lot of cheap stuff. So kind of a good entry point. I think there's only a few rares in this that you would need to craft. So if you're looking to get into Lord of the Rings Alchemy, this is the deck for you. Before I show you it, though, before we get down to it, uh, I, I need you to tenderly press that like button gently press that subscribe button or else you will be attacked by the like and subscribe which of course is a youtube werewolf who will viciously claw you and attack you for not just going right down there and tenderly pushing those buttons for me you know you want to join us on our stream every night at twitch.tv slash that villain j for all the live streaming goodness we would love to have you there live and in person and you can watch all of these decks uh attack brutalize and destroy our opponents live and in person uh we're pushing to mythic real soon i'm, I'm pretty sure i'm going to be mythic by the weekend so you could be there when we go over um check out our discord community for all the latest news and information post your decks post memes ask questions anything you want and of course this deck and all the other ones that i build are available down below on my aether hub all of that is right down there um in the description you can leave a comment too tell me what you like and what you don't like so Dark Army. Um, we're going to start with removal, as every good black deck does. Removal is going to be critical. I can't tell you how critical removal is, especially in the early to mid game. This real this this deck really ramps up. It's not an aggro deck. It's a mid range kind of combo deck, which you know is kind of my favorite. Um, we're going to go with cut down and go for the throat. Three cut downs, three go for the throats. We also have a new one called Golem's Bite. We see Golem biting off the ring from Frodo's finger here at the climax of the uh, Lord of the Rings, especially the Return of the King here. Um, why do we like this one? Negative two, negative two. That can actually get through a uh, indestructible if they just have two. You can reduce the, dis uh, the total power and toughness. It also puts things in cutdown range. If something's a four four and you hit it with Golem bite and cut down, that actually works because you functionally reduce their toughness. Uh, power and toughness uh, less than five so golem's bite is very useful then of course in the middle to late game we have that you can exile it from the graveyard and we get that temptation which is going to be fantastic um other than that we have go for the throat for non-artifact removal why go for the throat well it's just the cheapest most effective instant uh there are some other options of course we have our good friend soul transfer there planeswalker removal kind of important that was the biggest um that was the biggest uh, problem we had was dealing with Planeswalkers. Um, and, of course, Infernal Grasp in case you want a, a different type and lose two life or you want to hit those artifacts. So uh, alternate versions there in case you want for the best of three guys. So we're also going to go March from the Black Gate. Um, really nice. Not not a bad. Um, one black and one the Black Gate opens from the land of Mordor and the army comes forth whenever it enters the battlefield and whenever your army attacks, you control army, you control attacks, amass one. Amass one orcs means you create an army. If you don't have one, a zero zero army, put a one one counter on it. It looks like that army token right there. Um, so the interesting thing about this one is the first turn it comes out, it's going to enter and put a amass one. And then it, you, when you attack with an, a previously existing army, it'll do an attack one. So it's just going to put pressure with army. Um... If you don't like this one, if you want to go the more ri um, the ring tempts you route, you can do uh, a different card here, which is swaps it out for the same price. It is Call of the Ring. If you want to do that one, that's certainly fine. Uh, each turn, beginning of your upkeep, the ring tempts you. Whenever you choose uh, 
you may choose a creature's ring bear you may pay two life you use a draw a card so if you want to play around with those ring uh ring temptations and uh ring bear abilities ring tempts you is a perfectly fine uh, substitution for the that enchantment however this one is cheaper it's only an uncommon and it goes for the army so this is kind of a ring and army a full sauron deck as you if, if you uh, Orcish Bowmasters. Guys, if there's one card you should invest in, it's Orcish Bowmasters. Brutal, brutal card, especially against this meta. Um, one black and one, one, one flash. Whenever Orcish Bowmasters enters the battlefield and whenever an opponent draws a card, except the first one they draw in each of their draw steps, uh, Orcish Bowmaster deals one damage to end a tiny target, then you amass one orcs. This will absolutely punish anybody who is trying to draw cards. That is not one time. Anytime they draw their card after the first one, they're binged. They're pinged, they're pinged, they're pinged. Uh, absolutely brutal, brutal hit. Then you amass more orc armies. It is a flash, so you can play it off turn for that one ping of damage. Um, you could even interrupt something. If they're about to draw a bunch of cards, you could flash out Orcish Bowmasters and absolutely swarm them with it and build that orc army right there. So again, building up the army, doing damage, preventing, uh, uh, punishing people for getting card superiority, really good stuff. Orcish Medicine. I don't know if we need three of these. You could actually go two and you'd be all right, but it's not bad. Uh, as a common card, uh, it's very cheap, obviously. They're pouring that gross, horrible orc fluid into that person. Um, one black and one instant indestructible or lifelink, your choice. Obviously, indestructible better for board wipes, preventing death, and you get to amass an orc as well. Um... I think this will, this will actually... Is it going to turn this guy into an orc? I don't really know what this is implying. Um, but it is sure a brutal, brutal sight right there. So a little bit of protection, a little bit of life gain in a pinch in case you have like a big hit coming in you need to come back. And of course, orcs on the back end. Grimma Wormtongue. Absolute MVP um, that we've had in this deck lately. One black and two. Uh, one black and two. One four. Big heavy toughness right there. Your opponents can't gain life. I can't tell you how effective that is. That absolutely won me a couple of games that you're going to see coming up. It, it completely, completely won the game um, multiple times just by absolutely denying them. Then, of course, you have the ability to just tap it, sacrifice another creature. Target player loses one life. If the sacrifice creature was legendary, amass two orcs. And don't forget, your ring bearer is considered legendary. So you can actually sacrifice your current ring bearer to get more orcs out of it. So you can grow orcs and just ping people for life every turn if you have fodder if you just have fodder the, as many orc armies as you can do uh, that you're probably going to get out here you can just keep foddering and, and growing and foddering and growing it's really good stuff mordor trebuchet honestly such a meme card it works great um just so awesome you see those go goblins on that rock there it's a one black and two one four defender it's a wall uh, we're sieging Minas Tirith with this one. Uh, whenever you attack with one or more goblins or orcs, create a 2-1 colorless construct artifact creature token with with flying <laughs> named Ballistic Boulder that's tapped and attacking. So as soon as an orc or a goblin attacks, um, this boulder is generated and attacks with them. A 2-1 flying boulder just floats above the battlefield and just smashes into them Um and then it goes away if, if it di if it if it didn't hit or whatever or for whatever reason it sacrificed the token in the end of combat. Well, after it hits, it's going to be sacrificed. So <laughs> really funny. You see that they're loading up this thing. The trolls are loading it up and winding it back. You can actually see on the Mordor Trebuchet, there's two goblins on there. They get stuck on there. That's pretty funny. Uh, just an absolute meme card. Honestly, as a meme card, as a comment, it's super effective. Like, if you're attacking with orc armies every turn, that extra two damage of flying swinging in, especially with multiple of these, is pretty powerful. Uh, so keep an eye on that one, guys. Nazgul. Yes, all four of, all nine of them. I've got to have my nine with me. There's nine arts. People said, where is it? you got to press this little arrow tab. That pops them all open. I grabbed one of each one. You can customize however you want. Um, I got each one of the nine right there. Boom, 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 boom. That's what you got. Nine Nazgul. We are going to be riding out. Two, one, Wraith Knight. Um, I'm sorry, two man, one black mana and two and a one, two death touch. It's never going to come in as one, two. It's basically always by default a two, three. Because when it enters the battlefield, it tempts you. And whenever it tempts, you get a one, one counter on it. And you can have nine of these. Absolutely brutal. Temptation is going to really make them powerful. The ring is going to... Um, 
Uh, it's legendary. The ring bear is legendary and can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. Sneaks right under people because of invisibility. Whenever you discard, whenever it attacks, you draw and discard. Uh, whenever it becomes blocked by a creature, uh, even if that creature was more powerful than you, it dies no matter what. Um, and then, of course, if your ring bear does successfully hit, it deals three. Each opponent loses three life. So that has won me games when I've snuck a ring bear through. And if somebody loses three life, I've absolutely won the game with that. So the Nazgul is going to tempt, 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 tempt. Uh, really, really good stuff. And we have on the back end that uh, um, Golem's Bite Temptation as well. Gothmog, Morgul Lieutenant, one black and three, three, three. Um, when Morgul Lieutenant enters the battlefield, a mass one orc creature tokens you control have death touch. That means orcs now have death touch. Uh, he is a human soldier. He's like a slave driver, orc slave driver. Really, really terrible guy there that he actually went into service of Sauron. Um, uh, he, will he will amass and he will create death touch on your on your on your armies which is very dangerous then we here have grand 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 yes it is a card grand the gate breaker um we were spamming ground in the chat tonight one red one black and three five five trample vehicle legendary artifact as long as it's your turn and you control an army grand the gate breaker is an artifact creature so you can crew it for three so if somebody can crew it you could have a nazgul crew it even though they never would in, in the lore you still can um you can crew it for three and hit it for five trample just bashing through people or it's its own thing as long as you have an army again all these army things to go together so you have like the trebuchet and the battering ram the trebuchet can attack on its own the mortar the the uh the i mean the grand can attack on its own the trebuchet is firing rocks and your army is death touch and attacking and just growing bigger really really effective really evokes the the whole battle uh, really good stuff there with Grom the Gatebreaker. And of course, we're going to finish it off with Sauron the Necromancer. We're going to choose this one. Uh, three black and two black and three, four, four, Menace, Avatar, Horror. Uh, this is the, this is Sauron from when he was in his hidden form in uh, The Hobbit. Uh, he wasn't at his full power yet. He was called the Necromancer and he lived in Mirkwood. Uh, whenever Sauron the Necromancer attacks, exile target creature card from your graveyard. Create a tapped and attacking token that's a copy of that card, except it's a 3 3 Wraith, uh, Black Wraith with Menace. At the beginning of your next end step, exile that token unless Sauron is your ring bearer. Uh, so you can keep resurrecting things if Sauron is your ring bearer. The Nazgul, of course, will help make him the ring bearer every time that you um, the ring tempts you. You can choose a different ring bearer. Um, and we can make Sauron our ring bear. He can get his ring back and be at his full power. Just resurrecting 3-3 Black Mitt Wraiths with Menace every turn when he swings in. Really, really good stuff. Um, so really cool stuff right there. Uh, great little necromancy card on the back end to finish it. Barad-dur, the Tower of Sauron, uh, un enters the battlefield unless you control a legendary creature. Remember, ring bearers are legendary, so that's pretty easy to do. Um, it also lets you amass orcs if a creature died, which is nice. Uh, just something to sink your mana into in the middle to late game. 20 Swamps and 2 Takanumas on the back end right there. That's what we're looking at. Dark Army, Alchemy, 21 creatures all together. Um, decent amount of knights. Knights, wraiths, orcs, soldiers, walls, avatars, horrors, humans. A little bit of everything here. Uh, 2.6 average, 21 creatures, 15 nom. Uh, all black, love it. Um, 11 instants, 4 artifacts, 2 enchantments, no sorceries, oddly enough. 24 lands, that should be more than enough to get us to where we need to go. Really didn't have an issue with land. If you want to do 25, that's certainly your business. Boom, that's how you get your Nazgul out. Looking at it on the side view right there, that's what we're looking at on the side view there. Um, oh, oh, was worried the game was going to freeze. That's what we're looking at. Really living at 1, 2, and 3. Don't let that many Nazgul fool you. Uh, but we are living at two and three here. On the back end, we just have Gron, the Gothmog, and Sauron. Really effective at one, two, and three. We can move quickly. I wouldn't really call it an aggro, not with compared to Mono Red. Um, but with what we have, we can move quickly, and we can move very dangerously and get out of control very, very, very fast. So leave a comment. Do you like this one? Do you not like it? What do you think? What do you like? What do you not like? What would you add? Um, maybe just span Grand in the comments. That'd be pretty cool, right? Grand. Grand. If you don't know the Grand meme, now you do. You just got to chant Grand. It's not that com complicated. Here we go, guys. Into the fray. Two draft tokens. Let's get these Ws. Yeah, man. I got two draft tokens, too. What do you say is that Flamo Demo, as far as someone who's drafting, what do you say is the best bombs in draft right now? What should I be looking for? 
Hey, what's up, Sati? Salty Cosplay, Mercurio Blue, Mortlock, how you doing? Joe Werewolf, Good Sage's Girl, Cookies and Dreams. Blue black a mass irks. Blue black a mass irks. That's what I'm running right now. I'm running uh black orcs. Black a mass rings. Black orcs. Sacred harvest. Let's do this. Ping. It's broken in drafting. I'll take a look at it. I'd like to run a Demir. What's he gonna run here? What's he gonna run here? Tal Zealot. Interesting. Hexproof from white, hexproof from black. Ooh. That's a spicy boy. Take the hit. Boof. Okay, very nice. March from the Black Gate. Nazgul. Okay, he's doing an Orzob Knights. Good stuff. Mill six, yeah. Are you talking about the ring tempts you? Are you talking about the ring tempts you? Block, I'll block one of them here. Not the ring tempts you, sorry. Um what's that shit called? Uh, no, oh yeah, Nazgul is fucking busted. I'm talking about uh, one ring to rule them all. Hey, Long Dong Lepkan. How you doing, Long Dong? Long Dong Silver. This could do better have removal. Archangel Ulsmith. No. Soldier with lifelink. He's in trouble, bro. Ring bearer. All right, beat a mythic guy. Hey, what's up, Joe Werewolf? See? Vampires and werewolves can be friends. It's proven. Yeah, this thing... The Nazgul's are dummy busted, and this thing really moves fast if you're putting orcs with it.
Ooh, Oppo goes first, but we're Nazgul'd up here. We're absolutely Nazgul'd up here. Oof. We're dummy Nazgul thick. A little bit of revelation. Hey, Raven. Oh, that's a groaner, Raven. That's a groaner if I ever heard one, Raven. Ooh. Ooh, you're going to have to get the audience back on your side after that one. He lay down armed the He lay down armed the, the the token. That's pretty good. Good job, man. score okay so he's just running he's just running ramp So let's try Nazgul. It's Nazgul and orcs. It's the full black army. It's the full army of Sauron. Draw a card, then discard. Sauron the Necromancer. Yikes. That kind of sucks. I'll, I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna drop that. I think he's gonna come at me with some shit. Board wipes, mass exile. I don't know what he's got going on. Ah, uh, the invoke. Okay. So just going simple. What is he gonna get? Gron the Gatebreaker. That fucking sucks. <laughs> that fucking sucks for him. Grand, Grand, Grand. Get some Grands in the kit chat, Grand, 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 Grand. Actually, I don't have it out, so. But it is out. I just don't have it out. Goodbye, Italian. He's gonna crew run, that's fine. Draw and discard. We'll get rid of that. Nope, Gron can't block. Boom. The Morgul Lieutenant. Yeah, I got that one. I got that one. Gothmog, Morgul Lieutenant. Iron Fist, how you doing, man? Thank you for being on point with the Grand, uh, 
with the Grand spam. You guys, you gotta spam Grand. Oh, he got the second uh, Itali. He gets a Nazgul there and a lay down arms there. And a lay down arms on that. <laughs> Look at that, Cookies. Cookies did it up pretty good there. This trebuchet, if it wasn't that expensive, I would be a lot happier with it. It works just like a trebuchet. That's the funny thing. As soon as you attack with an orc, a 2-3 flying rock flies it. <laughs> flies out, which is pretty funny when you think about it. Mm -hmm. Let's send the Nazgul in. Yeah, it's a floating rock. You'll see it. If I can get it out, you'll see it's it's a flying rock token. <sighs> it's, it just says rock, and it's a fl flying rock token. And it just attacks and then dies, which is pretty funny. Let's see how much more Itali spam we can run. Bit of reunion. He's going to get that kill again. Man, he's going to keep amassing my orcs. He's going to amass himself right out of a job here. Nazgul. I'm going to do the trebuchet just so you can see it. Yeah, absolutely. Pun I'm glad we got finally got some tech in the game that punishes you for uh, for drawing cards, man. Not going to lie. Watch, here comes the rock. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I know, it's pretty funny, man. I included it just because I like throwing the rocks in, man. It looks like an army. You got an orc army going in. The ring is going to tempt me. Uh, could you just creature be my ring bearer? Sauron is going to be the Lord of the Rings right now. Yeah, there's a there's a goblin attached to it. There's a couple of goblins that look like they were in the middle of loading it. He's dead. The rock, the Nazgul, and Sauron, who now has his ring, are gonna kill him. It's gonna be brutal. Ooh, look at that. Grand, 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 grand. Yeah, combining a mass and Nazgul is just fucking broken. Grand, grand, grand. Um. Yeah, the boulder, once I saw it in action, I was like, alright, I gotta fucking put that in. 
That's too fucking good. Buggy man, 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 Uh oh. I don't like seeing Island go down first thing in the morning. Sephrosin bin. Let's do that. Okay, it's Demir. Alright, let's everybody just calm down here. Oracle the Alpha. Kill it. Kill it with fire. I know he's going to try to draw cards. A lot of warm tongue in this hand. Yeah, he fucked me over uh, in, in the previous game, so. Interesting that he would want to return that to my hand and not just kill it. Kaito Shizuki. Well, he probably wants to draw another card. Then. Oof. Yeah, I'm thinking he's trying to run card draw. If he if I keep Bowmasters on the board, he's gonna fucking he he might he might fucking eat it. So we'll see here. Blink Oracle with Ninjutsu. He's gonna scry one. He's got the power nine in his deck. What's he gonna run now? Teferi Temple Pilgrim. Ooh, that card draw is gonna eat him alive. Yeah. Very nice. Ninja. He wants to draw a card too, and he's going to get hurt the more cards he draws. What do you got? I'd love for it to be drawn Ancestral Recall. That would be pretty cool. Um, Push it in on him. Why the fuck not? Okay. I'll push it in on him. 
Okay, what's he gonna do here? Negative, Tasha. Tasha's a son of a bitch. Tasha's hard to deal with. And we're low on mana right now. Create a blue spirit. Vengeance guy. Draw a card and discard if you attacked. Go. Go for the throat. Hmm. He's out of creatures here. Creates a ninja. I'm worried about the Tasha ultimate. I don't think he's going to go with Tasha ult right now. Kaido Shizuki, very nice. Double. Can't be blocked. Yeah, he's gonna go ult with Tasha. Look at that. Oh my god, he got fucking... He got ultra spam right there. He got fucking ultra spam. He fucking bingoed. Um... Nazgul. He fucking bingoed right there. He absolutely fucking got it off. Oh, uh, no attacks. Fucking Tasha, man. Yeah, Tasha ult. Unless you have direct risk, she's a kill on sight. She's way too powerful. Uh, I don't have really good... Planeswalker removal. So you're gonna be able to resurrect somebody in Oracle. I think I'm screwed anyways, but we, we were out we were without fucking mana for a long time too, and he really hit some some bingos, unfortunately. I'm gonna go ping on him. I hope he draws more cards. I hope he does something stupid. He draws a card. Hey, well, thank you for coming, Flamo Demo. What is he gonna do here? What is he gonna try to hit? Grimma. Okay. Um. Sacrifice another creature if it was legendary. Amass two orcs.
Hey, look, some mana. Yep, certainly I'm getting mana that way. So close to getting what we need here. Um, uh, ghoulish medicine. We're gonna do this. It's only a two damage though, and if we would have kept the Grimo, we would have been able to get that one out. X works. Mm. He's gonna remove it. Wait. No, we can't attack with orcs. Mm. Yeah, I think it is too late. If we would have had an orc to attack with, the rock would have killed him. Very close one, though. GG. Very, very close. Um, the, I mean, it just shows to go shows goes to show you the effectiveness of this deck. I mean, the fact that even with all that high speed shit, just the brute force of orcs running down, we had a pretty bad mana run. Um, you know. Apo goes first. Yeah, I mean, you, in those situations when it's, hey, well, thank you for coming, Iron Fist. How you doing, man? Thank you for coming by. Good to see you. Hey, what's up, FC? It's running actually very well. Um, lost the first game, but we, we've so far like for me. Um, let me pull up the let me pull up the MTGA assistant just so you can see it. It's it's been running very well for real though. Like, um. Right now it's at a 77. Let me pull up the Aether Hub real quick. That's what it's that's what we're looking at right now. 77 win rate. Oof. What is he talking about? He wants to draw a card. Interesting. Oh, that would have been great to have orcs out right there, huh? Um 
Ghoulie Ghoulie Naz Ghoulies. Let's make the Naz Ghoul hold the rings. Draw. Grand. 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 We're gonna do it, guys. I, d I haven't. I probably my eyes went over it, but I did not study it. What do you got? Oh, I'm gonna fuck this deck off. Holy shit. Oh my god, I'm gonna fuck this deck off. Orcish Bowmasters, drop that. We'll keep Grand. Let's see. Oh, there it is, FC Slayer. Yeah. Oh, you have Mirkwood. Mirkwood's not bad for that. Boom, boom. Okay. Let's do that. I got Baradur in here too. I got Baradur in here too. Can't gain life. It's coming in. Very nice. Yeah, swing in, man. That's. That's the best thing for you to do right now. Yeah. For sure. Orchid Bowmasters. You know what? Let's ping her. We don't need her out. Ring bearer. Grand the gate breaker. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep Grand. No, we need Orcish medicine, unfortunately. Yeah, Grimma. Grimma absolutely doing work. Absolutely doing work. If he goes down to one. No, nah, yeah, he can't. He can't, bro. He can't go down to one. I'm gonna get fucked off. Mirkwood Bats, yeah. Takanuma, I forgot to put Takanuma. Claim the Precious I didn't use. Gorbag, eh. I, I, I was hesitant on Gorbag. I do like that his name is Gorbag, though. That is funny. Oh, yeah, it's absolutely... It can absolutely push. Which is greater, Nazgul or Pack Rat is the real question. I mean, Nazgul's basically like a mega rat deck. Like, the fact that they all have death touch and they all trigger each other, like, fucking, it, it's a very powerful card. At uncommon, like, holy shit, who's he gonna grab here? Who's he gonna grab? Who's he gonna grab?
Uh, okay. Make them wraiths. This says orc army, but there's clearly some goblins in it. So, I mean, you know. Who's he gonna load up? Luminous Phantom, okay. Hopeful initiate. Bang. Damn. That fucking sucks. Um so we'll have to do that. I hope he double blocks me. Yay. Fucking grandma doing work. He should have put him in the boo boo hole a long time ago. A long time ago. Long time ago. I do wanna, I think we gotta do this. Nazgul. Ah, got him. The ring wraiths, got him. Can't be blocked and it's gonna do four damage to him. Discard a card, cut down. Oof. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, no. Oh, the ring is mine. Oh, got him. Man, that Grimma. Gr Gr Grimma probably prevented what? Uh, uh, 40 life gain in that deck? Holy shit, man. Yeah. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my god, we got enough for a pack right here. Let's go ahead. Let's do it. See you later, my. Yeah, that shut down Mono White Life. Holy crap, that absolutely turned it off. Uh, brutal. Let's see what we got in here. A little packy pack for you, a little pack action. Alright, Fear Fire Foes, Goblin Fire Leaper. Gold Berry, never gonna run it. So, pretty much nothing that I'm going to run. But either way, filling up the wild. Hey! Oh, you missed a brutal time. Brutal win right there, man. Really good stuff. You're just gonna, you're gonna win out of sheer fucking boredom.
Oppo goes first. I actually don't like that opener. Um, that's much better, believe it or not. Gron, I'm gonna go back. Saga. Probably another Cancer deck. Let's see. Ooh, Golem's Bite. Let's see if he wants to draw those extra cards. Hmm? You want to draw those? Oh, he's throwing it back at me, man. Nice. Yeah, why don't you draw them extra cards, bro? Yeah, do it, man. You know you want them. Oh, yeah, two of them. Beautiful. <coughs> yeah, lose some life while you go at it, too. Um, let's do that. March from the Black Gate. Amass, six, pop. We have removal. Okay. What we got? More kills? See what we got. More kills. Orcish Bowmasters. Who's gonna hit? You gonna hit one on that? Sauron. I'd like to get Sauron out. Grandma. block kill kill Brexian scrapyard I'm sorry to hear that cookies you should try this deck it's really good play Q oh yeah play Q's been sweatier everyone just trying to test some shit and go what fucking wild with the infinite infinite loops that they got Necromancer. Hopefully that's not removal. Three three race. Uh, <clears throat> you would need to block. I could bring back Orcish Bowmasters, or I could bring back a Nazgul. I'm gonna bring back. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna say my angry word.
Okay, all I need to do is sacrifice one creature. And I'm good to go. So you have the removal to do it. No, he does not. Boom! Another grim and warm tongue for the win. Ooh. Ooh, I'm sweating, I'm sweating. Pulled it off. Oh yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Still overall, I mean, really swinging a lot of shmeat. We didn't get to hit a, get an, a grand win through the whole trebuchet. Yeah, well, that's the, that's the troll way. Listen, if you got trolls, orcs use trebuchets to throw rocks. Trolls use trebuchets to throw them, you know what I mean? That's not how any of this works. All right, uh, let's take a look at our Grimma MVP. Absolutely, man. Grimma's absolutely been getting fucking work done, man. Um, just being able to ping someone every turn for one life and not letting them gain life is really dangerous, especially at uncommon speed. That's that's very threatening. Um, but yeah, really fun deck, guys. Alternate forms of removal. We had to deal with a lot of... Um, we had to deal with a lot of, uh, whatchamacallit, um, planeswalkers. That's probably the biggest blind side. Uh, we are at a 69% win rate, which is cool. Nice. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. It did go six wins in a row earlier. Didn't do it on stream, but still pretty, uh, pretty awesome. And only when we're really getting controlled out, um, is it really a problem? I want to show you something real quick with my the people I fought. Look at this. Every single deck had white in it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of the decks I fought had white in them. That's crazy. All right. Uh, until next time, guys. I've been JVL and you've been great. May Ungoliant bless you. And you find all the powers of Morgoth. Uh, adios and good night.